What's going on guys? It's your boy John and Liquid Editor coming back with another video. So it looked like Caitlin Clark just had an enormous impact on the WNBA media rights. Guys, for this one here, we gotta go all the way up to Indiana. Let's get it. Let's go. <laughs> Caitlin Clark pulled up on the scene in the WNBA. It seemed like the whole league is changing everything about the WNBA force, adding charter flights, joining bigger arenas, and it looked like the WNBA media rights deal might be getting revised too because it's being reported that the most anticipated WNBA season in league history is set to begin tonight with four matchups across the country highlighted by the regular season debut of former Our Sensation Caitlin Clark as the Indian Indiana Fever visit the Connecticut Sun at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The game will air on ESPN2. Mainstream interest in Clark is putting an even bigger spotlight on the WNBA as it continues to grow and capitalize on the overall momentum of women's basketball. First ship last month, ESPN's coverage of the draft averaged 2.5 million viewers, the largest TV audience for any WNBA teleclass since 2000. Meanwhile, demand for more broadcasts of preseason games has taken the league by surprise and led to some highly viewed illegal game streams. The WNBA current broadcast partners are Amazon, CBS Sports, Disney, and Scrub Sports. Amazon and CBS recently extended their deals, and Disney is in negotiation with its new deal expiring in 2025. WNBA commissioner has said the WNBA goes is to double its rights fee intake, which currently stands at roughly $60 million annually. Disney current deal is tied to its NBA contract, and a new deal with both leagues could have a similar structure. So it looked like WNBA commissioner is definitely trying to get that back, bruh. With Caitlin Clark rising star power and her incredible skills on the basketball court, mixed with a little Steph Curry, many people are actually comparing the WNBA star to none other than NBA superstar legend Michael Jordan with the impact on the overall league itself. Guys, this is crazy. Now, Caitlin Clark recently wrapped up a docuseries with Omaha Production, Peyton Manning Production Company, called Four Court Press. Well, it's being reported that Peyton Manning's Omaha Production plus ESPN are already planning a sequel to Caitlin Clark documentary Full Court Press about high stakes and world women's college hoop sources are confirming. Get down in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts about this. Keep them bells on because you know I'm going to bring you the news. And like always, until next time, shake the haters off. I'm out of here. Peace out.